happy Saturday. So I'm super excited um, because I got my new palette in today, palette eight. I've been waiting um, for it to come in. I don't know if you can see me or not when I do that. Give me just a second, how about that? Um, yeah, that's not giving me anything that I want. Um, I hate it when Facebook updates, like, hey, mama, you're here. I hate it when Facebook updates because, like, things change that I don't feel like needed to change. And I feel like something changed recently because I, it looks different. Mom, can you, can you, like, um, put something in the comments so I can see if I can read the comments for me, please? I needed it. Mm. Thank you. I can see the comments. Thank you, Mom. Okay. Thank you for that. So I'm excited, y'all. I'm so tired, but I wanted to come on here and I wanted to play with this new palette. Um, I went to go do some deliveries today for my friends that ordered from me recently that um, live nearby. If you live nearby, I'll deliver it to you so you can get it quicker. Um, and so I went and did that today. Hey, Jean, what's up? We're going to play with palette eight. I was walking out my door to go deliver my stuff and had two packages. And I was like, hold on a second. Because one of my girls that I was delivering to has ordered a lot. And I was like, let me just make sure that none of this is hers. And it was. So it worked out. But long story short, I got palette eight today. I'm excited. Um, I also got the new uh, Prime and um, Prime and Set powder that I was going to show y'all briefly. Um, and my new brush. Ooh, it looks like it's jacked up, but it's because I smushed it. I'll fix it when we open it. Um, I also got a eye primer, but I'm not going to open this because I have one that's open already. So I wanted to show y'all because I'm super excited. Thanks, y'all. I'm super excited. Hey, Natasha. So... For those of you that have purchased a palette from me in the past, I will show you the main thing. Um, there was a little change, but I really like it. Um, a little change in the size of the palette. So check this out. This is one of the palettes that um, that I've had on, you know, available for years now. This is palette one. This is palette eight right here. You see the difference in the width? It's a lot more slim. Palette 8 is slim. It's a little bit longer. You get the same amount of product in it, so that's cool. They just made it more slim, which is, I think it looks really nice. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Look at these colors. Aren't they so pretty? Holy cow. Look at that. Wow. I'm super excited. So it still has the mirror. So like everything's still the same, right? Like, let me get this palette back out to show y'all. Everything's still the same. It's just, um, they made it more like a sleek packaging than the other one. So let me show y'all. You'll be able to see which one's which because I've used the heck out of one because it's all neutral <laughs> colors. But see, like you still get the um the mirror and everything you still get the same amount of product and all of that it's just it's a more sleek it's a lot thinner now which is awesome so i'm super excited to try it i already cleaned my brushes y'all know i never remember to clean them but i did <laughs> i know aren't they pretty mom man i thought i turned off my notifications y'all know i always mess that up so i keep having like messages pop up on my forehead. I know y'all can't see it, but it bugs the heck out of me. Yeah, look at the yellows. So if you can't tell, um, this is a matte. There we go. That has some shimmer in it. Matte, matte, shimmer, matte, and matte. Aren't they so pretty? Isn't it so pretty, Jean? Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I'm excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put on a little bit of eyeshadow primer. You don't have to, but the tip with eyeshadow primer is, um, one thing it, it helps to stay, it helps the product to stay on your eyes um, all day, but it also makes for a more bold color. 
Now, also, if you've ever tried my palettes before, you can attest to this, right? Um, our eyeshadow is very highly pigmented. Very, 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 very. So you don't have to use eyeshadow primer with it because it's going to be bold, like, regardless. <laughs> but if you really just want some extra um, oomph to your colors, you can put on some eyeshadow primer. So I'm just putting that on um, so that it has time to dry and then we're going to start playing with some colors. Um, I'm also going to show you all the powder and all of that. We'll see how far we go, see if we want to do a full face or not. But I wanted to do my eyeshadow first so that um, the cleanup is easier because if I have foundation and um, powder on already and I try and clean up my lines from my eyeshadow, it's going to take the foundation and all that off, kind of defeats the purpose. So I figured that we would do the eyeshadow first. So, hey, Missy. Hello, gorgeous. We're going to play. I saw your pictures. They were gorgeous. So I'm super excited. Just put on my eyeshadow primer. Um, just letting that set in for a minute. I can feel it drying. So I want it to be dry before I start putting. And yes, I'm a lush. Don't hate. <laughs> my husband called me a lush. And I'm like. <laughs> whatever while this is drying check this out real quick this is the new powder y'all have seen me use it before but it was in different packaging now if you ordered this powder do not freak out when you get it in and you're like they gypped me I only got half of the product promise that's not the case the amount of product here is what it says on the packaging it's the um 10 grams or 0.35 ounces. That's what this is. We have this extra packaging here because you need to shake it to activate um, the product and make it work properly. So I promise you're not getting gypped. <laughs> they warned us about that. Um, and then I wanna check out, this is our new brush I'm excited about because I love brushes. And it's like super fluffy. Oh, and it's soft. It makes me think of like a foxtail. See how like poofy that is y'all of course it the packaging it was kind of smushed but it'll fluff back up super excited about that so let's start doing eyeshadow like i said i already um cleaned my brushes for once hallelujah um because i don't always i don't know why aiden's texting me i told him i was going live <laughs> so y'all know I'm still learning when it comes to um, colors, right? So we're gonna play and we're gonna see what this looks like. <laughs> if it looks horrible, whatever, because there's so many different options with this thing, okay? So what I wanna focus on today mainly is amazing. That's this green is amazing. And invincible is the shimmer bronzish goldish color. I want to focus on those because I've seen all my friends um, try those colors and I kind of want to see if I can do it. If I can't, whatever. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick up a little bit of Amazing, this green color. And y'all, um, anybody can wear any color eyeshadow, but for some reason, if you have brown eyes, like these colors really pop with brown eyes. So we're going to see. Look, like I'm barely touching my skin with this brush. And look at how pigmented that green already is. Isn't it crazy? What brushes you use and what? Yeah, okay, I sure can. So, Natasha, uh, this is the fluffy crease brush right here that I'm going to start with. These are the main brushes that I use for eyeshadow. These three right here. So, the fluffy crease brush is like a medium sized brush. Um, this one is actually called the crease brush. It's a little bit smaller. You see right there. And then this is the blending brush. This is the one that I fix everything with. Like it saves me from having stuff all over my face. So these are the ones I'm going to use. And I might end up using, this is actually a cream shadow brush, but I like the way it is. You see, it's like really thin. So I might use that to pack on some of the, uh, the glittery color down here on my lid at the very end. We'll see. So right now, fluffy crease brush. This is my favorite. We're going to do this. Brush cleaner too. Have to clean mine. Oh, yeah, it's so easy, Jean. Look, like, um, right here. 
So this is it. This is the uh, brush cleaner. I'll show you, I've already cleaned these, but I'll show you real quick how easy it is. All I do is I just back it up on um, a napkin just so the spray doesn't go everywhere. Here, there we go. <laughs> and I just spray it and you just get the brush, literally just wipe it off on your towel. Obviously I just cleaned this one, um, but you can see like, you see, that's what I, that's where I um, cleaned my brushes a few minutes before I started. But the solution that this is made out of, like you're good to go. I could use this brush right now. You don't have to dry it or anything. It, it like, it's magic. It goes away. I don't know. <laughs> it dries on its own, in other words. So you don't have to do anything else. That's it. I love it. So that's how you use it. It works great. It is a kind of oily type substance. So I would spray away from like your pants and stuff. That's why I get the napkin and I spray it on there first because I've got it on my pants before and I'm like, ooh, that's kind of like an oil stain. Let's not do that. You're welcome, Natasha. Yours, yeah. <laughs> Mine are always a mess too, Jean. And y'all know normally I hop on here and I'm like, dang, I forgot to clean my brushes. But I remembered today. I guess I should have waited so I could have showed y'all, huh? <laughs> but at least you could see on my napkin because that napkin was clean. So that's all the um, eyeshadow that I took off of my brushes which is awesome because you don't have to use like soap and water. You can, and it's probably best. Look how cool this looks, y'all. <laughs> I'm amazed. It's probably best for you to maybe use like um, a gentle soap and water every now and then um, on your brushes, but not every use, you don't have to. So that's why I love our brush cleaner. <laughs> Anything he hears, y'all. Anything he hears, he freaks out. So, I already started doing this different than I wanted to do, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh, shut up! I wanted to try a different way to apply the eyeshadows, but we'll try it another day. Because this is how I normally do it. Like, I go, like, a little bit above my crease because I have hooded eyes. If you don't know what that is, it's like, you see this? <laughs> see this part? Mine hangs over. And so that's a hooded eye. So if I were to only apply the green like in here in the crease, you wouldn't see it, like it would get gobbled up. <laughs> you see how much green is there, but you don't see it? <laughs> so I have to go a little bit above my crease with mine, so that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's, that's your grand dog, Momo. Acting a fool. So, I just kind of want to get the green laid down where I want it, and then I'm probably going to add a little bit more to it. And I'm still using the same brush right now. And like the bristles on the different brushes are a little bit different, and that's why they're used for different things. This covers a larger area, and because I have so much of an area on my eye, because my eyebrows are up really high, if I were to use this normal crease brush, like it would take me forever to cover all of this. But if you have like a smaller area right here, you could probably use this. FYI. So, let's see. Gonna put a little bit like I'm just gonna push this here into my crease so it's a little bit darker back in there. I like that. And you know, I was watching one of my friends the other day and I'm so glad that she said something because she's actually, I believe she's a makeup artist. Um, I think she went to school for this, um, but she said something and I was like, okay, it makes me feel better. She's like, don't look at the progress of what you're doing when you're doing it because you're gonna be like, oh, I'm not doing this right. Cause you're gonna do a lot of cleaning up after. So don't worry about it. So like right now I'm like, this isn't what I was thinking it was gonna be, but I'm gonna clean it up so it'll look better. Autumn is saying hi to you and Archie. Oh, hi Autumn. <laughs> I didn't hear you. Now I heard you. <laughs> Thanks for watching Autumn. We're playing with colors. <laughs> Thanks mom. I really like it. It's like a forest green, you know? And I love greens. They sometimes intimidate me, but I wanted to go for it. 
So we're going for it. So now um, I kind of want to do, let's go ahead and use the, cre um, the cream shadow brush. And I cleaned this one off also, but the reason I want to use this is because when you use shimmers, sometimes they like fall off. Ours typically don't because they have primer built into them, which makes them stick a little bit better. But I feel like if you use a flat brush, you see this one, like something like this, it's easier to kind of like pat the shimmer on for it to stay on. Hey, Laura, thanks for hopping on, girl. We're playing with colors. I'm scared because I'm not the best at this, but we're playing with them anyways. Oh, you're welcome, Natasha. You and Autumn can hang out with me anytime and play with makeup. Oh, y'all, this is so cool. That's like a lot of shimmer. See how I'm just like packing it in? Because if you were to like, you know, willy nilly like brush it on, a lot of the shimmer would just kind of like go away, you know? Look at how shimmery. That's a lot of shimmer, y'all. Y'all know I love shimmer. <laughs> Your hair looks so long and shiny. Thank you. I don't, um, I don't take collagen, but I will say, you see, it's getting longer. Um, I don't wash it every day. I wash it like every two or three days. And I think that might have a lot to do with it. Um, but I feel gross. <laughs> I feel gross when I don't wash it. So like most of the time it'll be like up in a, um, a ponytail or a chungle. Remember that conversation we had the other day, y'all? <laughs> I'll have it up because it's so oily, but I feel like that's what makes it so healthy too. Isn't it pretty, Jean? I don't know why my son keeps texting me, y'all. Aiden keeps texting me and he knows I'm over here doing this. And we're going to blend more, so don't freak out because that's like, ooh. <laughs> but we're going to blend, I promise. Let's see. Now let's get, this is where I get my um, blending brush, Natasha. And I blend in here so that it's not just like a harsh line where you see that I stopped one color. But I also wanna make sure that I'm not bringing the, um, the gold shimmer up so high because I tend to, when I bring it up high over a darker color, it like, um, it kind of like dulls the darker color and I don't want to do that with this green. So I'm going to try my hardest to be careful to not do that. We'll see. You're going to scream at me. I don't ever use brushes for my eyeshadow. I use my finger. <laughs> Let's see more and see what it says. I have to see more. Hold on. Slanted brush when I do dramatic cat eye. But the way that you do your makeup looks so good. So obviously your finger works <laughs> and your slanted brush. Cause I love when you do your dramatic looks. I love, um, I love eyeliner. And so when you do your eyeliner with your wing, oh, I love it so much. When you wash it too often, it takes the natural oil out. Yeah. And even though I have a lot of oil, <laughs> you see, that's how long it's getting. Even though I have a lot of oil, I kind of don't want to strip it and it be really, um, like more brittle and stuff because it's very thin. Autumn wants to know if you have a dog. Yes. Can you see him, Autumn? Look, that's blue. <laughs> Thankfully, he's being good right now. Oh, he heard me. He's saying hi to you, Autumn. <laughs> Thankfully, he's being good right now because a lot of the times he likes to jump up on me and I'm like trying to do a live and he's right here and he's huge. So right now he's being good. <laughs> Thankfully. Let's see. So we're blending this gold so that it's not such a harsh line. He just took a really deep breath. I don't know if y'all heard that. <laughs> so let's see. I kind of want to try. I feel like if I do this, it's going to turn brown. I don't know. What do y'all think? Anybody here really good with colors? <laughs> do you think I should add one of these? Um, like here on the edge, or do you think it would turn it brown? I'm afraid it might turn it brown. Y'all tell me, think about it. And while you're thinking about it, 
I'm just going to wipe the excess off that I just um, got on this of the gold. I'm not going to use the brush cleaner because it was barely anything, but I want to wipe it off because I'm going to blend this green up here a little bit more. And if I blend it too much, it's okay because we can still add more to it. Um, but it's harder. It's harder to blend it than it is to add to it. You know what I mean? So I'd much rather take away and then add a little bit at a time. What are y'all saying? Probably turn brown. <laughs> brown or orange with the slanted brush just a tiny bit. I'm scared, but I want to try it. <laughs> what brush? Oh, oh, hold on. What about this one? What about this one, Laura? No, not that one. Y'all, <laughs> I have brushes everywhere. Like, I have this full of brushes, but then I have brushes, like, laying out on my table. Oh, this one. This one's slanted. We'll see if that one works. And it's probably dirty, so I can show y'all how it works to clean it now. <laughs> so, I just put it on here so that the, the spray doesn't come back and hit me in my clothes and like put like a, a oiled stain or something on me. Yeah, here we go. I don't know if y'all can see this. You see that? How well it's cleaning this brush? And I can use the brush right away. So that's why I like it so much. Like if I was to go clean it in the sink right now with a mild soap and water, I wouldn't be able to use it right away because I'd, I'd have to let it dry. And I'm very impatient, very. So that's why I like this so much. Okay. And I just do one quick swipe to make sure that I have all the excess off. Like, look how good it works. Still, it's taking some off of it. Works really well. Yeah. Just a tiny bit, like where you'd put a cat's eye line. Do it with green all the time. Oh. Yeah, so like us with brown eyes, man, colors look so good. <sighs> Just a little bit. Like thin, thin, thin? Like should I do? If you're talking about where the cat eye is, should I use this then? You see? Which one is this? This is a brow artist brush, but really you can use it for anything. Let's try this Profound, which is the burgundy color. Yes, okay. I'm scared. <laughs> Let's see. So on my end, I can see the color, but I know y'all can't see it quite yet. See, up close it looks so good, but you see, I mean, I'm going to clean this up because it goes out really far over there. I don't know. What do y'all think? I kind of want to do it like all right here now. We'll just do it and see what happens. I like that. It's kind of like, like a rainbow effect. Like I feel like, um... A mermaid. <laughs> I feel like a mermaid, but I like it. Let's just blend a little bit. Y'all, I really like these colors. I'm so glad that I got it. Yeah, isn't it so pretty? Did I just spit? I'm sorry if I spit. I think I did. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I really like that. Okay, this is a kind of weird way to describe what I'm thinking. Y'all know when a car has like, like it's leaking oil outside? <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but like the way that the oil color changes on the ground, that's what I feel like with this. Like it's just the changing colors. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but I like it. Okay, let's see. Um, Let's 
get a little bit of the green again on the fluffy crease brush. And I'm just gonna kind of dab it in there a little bit where I went up a little high with my gold shimmer just to kind of like mute the gold shimmer a little bit because I really just wanted that on my lid. Okay. Now, let's see if we can match the other eye and then I promise y'all, I've learned this from experience. Once you do your brows and your lashes, it looks a lot better. <laughs> Yeah, it leaves a rainbow, the oil does, and that's kind of like, how cool is that, y'all? This is fun. And that's only what, we only use three colors. Look at all the other colors. You can do like so many different looks with it. This is cool. Okay, let's see if we can match the other eye. This is what always gets me, y'all, because I'm so OCD that if it doesn't match, it bugs me. So it's probably gonna bug me. <laughs> Just gonna start to add a little bit at a time. I need a little bit more. So this is the palette eight. Um, our other palettes have retired. We might still have palette six, I'm not 100% sure, but that's the rose, uh, rose gold one that I love so much. All of the other palettes um, are retired. This one was only available for um, some of our Black Friday deals, but it will be added to our uh, core line in 2021 sometime. Not exactly sure when, but I wanted to show y'all so that y'all could see like on someone that you know, instead of just pictures of uh, my friends. <laughs> You can see what it looks like in case you want to get it when it comes out onto the uh, the full core line. I really like this green. Like, Laura, I could totally wear this just for eyeliner. Like, uh, for a cat eye look. Oh my gosh, it'd be so pretty. Blush or eyeliner. Uh, yes. So, typically... Hey, Connie, I see you on here. Typically, I'll wear my cat eye. I love black liquid eyeliner, but because we decided to do this, I'm not covering that up today. I love that so much. Um, so I'm not going to, but typically I love to do a like liquid black, like black, I love black eyeliner. <laughs> um, and then blush, like typically I don't do because I have like rosy cheeks that show through everything anyways, but I do have awesome blush that I love. And it's like the color sweet. It's just like when you like, you know, like you do this, like the natural cut like that you see what I just did the natural color that comes out that's like see what I do y'all I turn now I look like Mimi Bobek because I just did that <laughs> it's because I turn red so easily <laughs> that's hilarious good luck in matching I know mom you know I I that bugs me <laughs> y'all I just made myself look like a clown by doing that it'll go down though I get red easily. Y'all should see whenever I'm out in the sun uh, for like, if it's a summer day, like give me 30 minutes and I am a crab. I get so red. Sorry, that was my alarm. Okay, it's somewhat getting there. We're gonna put on, um, we're gonna put on some foundation and stuff here in a minute. Uh, I just wanted to do the eyeshadow first so that when I clean it up over here, I don't take off my foundation and stuff. So that's why I decided to do that first. Hey, that's pretty close. I might need to just stop there before I mess it up. <laughs> that might be as close as it's going to get. So let me stop there. I'm going to pick back up my uh, cream brush, get my invincible gold looking color. And it's cool because all of these names of this eyeshadow, um, we got to we got to vote before we even knew what the colors look like. The um, the co-founder of our company said, "Okay, like send me in like your favorite words about." And she gave us a topic. I can't remember what it was because it's been a little while. And so people just sent in like tons of words and she used that to name the colors in the palette, which is really cool, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that green alone. Hey, Viola. 
So it's cool because like this is wondrous. This is upbeat, invincible, revived, profound, jovial, and amazing. So that's pretty cool that people named it, you know? Let's see. I don't know if y'all have seen my lipstick pictures that I've been posting lately, but holy baby Jesus, y'all. If you love matte lipstick, it is a matte velvety finish lipstick that lasts all day long. It's non-drying, it's non-feathering, and it actually helps to hydrate your lips. And it's a matte lipstick, which is not a common thing. <laughs> Normally, uh, if you love matte, you know that it's beautiful, but it, it somewhat has a dry finish. Like you feel it sitting on your lips. But from what people have told me that already have this, um, it's like you don't even feel it. So I'm super excited to get that. Hey, Crystal. Ooh, y'all, whenever I get close, that thing looks bad. Let's see. I'd use my finger to blend the green down some more, except in the corners. I do both eyes one step at a time. I'd never get one to look like the, exactly, that's my problem. Like, I'll finally be happy with one and then I move to the other, but then I get so like annoyed <laughs> that I just give up. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, you finally got to see me live, Viola. Yeah, I like matte mainly, um, honestly, the main reason that I like matte for myself is because I have these little bird lips, thanks to my dad's side of the family. Um, so if you wanna see any of my top lip, I have to take a lip liner and draw over a little bit. I mean, not like ridiculously looking, um, but I've learned um, that if you overdraw your lips to make them look more full, that it's best to use a matte lipstick because it doesn't make it as obvious that you overdrew them. So that's why I prefer matte because I do that. I need a lipstick that lasts all day. Viola, the new Opulence. It's coming out on Monday. It's it's named Opulence like our other um, Opulence lipstick, but it's a completely new um, ingredient. Ingredient. What you know what I'm trying to say? The whole thing is totally different. So I don't know why it's still named Opulence. I'm looking to see if I have any. I'll admit to y'all, I'm not a fan of our Opulence lipstick. That's why I don't wear it because it wipes off and I, I don't have time for that. Um, but the new one that's matte is just named Opulence for some reason, but it's a completely different formula. That's the word I'm thinking of. <laughs> so you need to get um, uh, Opulence, the matte Viola. They're, um, they're gonna launch on Monday for that week of Black Friday deals and they're only available for the week and then they'll be gone, but then they're gonna be added to our full core line sometime in 2021, but we don't know for sure when. So uh, you can grab three uh, for 59 is the deal, but I'm, I'm also breaking it up for my friends because not everybody wants three lipsticks. Some people do. Um, so if you want one, y'all can let me know. It's like $19 and some change. Um, and I'll break it up for you so that you can try it out. So I'm excited about that. I already have my colors picked out. Y'all know I love nude colors and there's, um, so there's six colors and like four of them are nudes. So I'm super excited. And then there's like, there's like a red y'all, like almost like this. It's almost like this lip liner in red that came out. And then there's going to be a pink that is kind of, kind of, that's a purplish, but kind of like in between this and a hot pink. And then the rest are nudes. So I'm super excited. Laura, girl, <laughs> the red is so pretty. If you like matte, because I know some people like glossy, but if you like matte, the red is beautiful. I'm so excited. Yeah, I need that for sure. Yeah, love pink. Jean, have you seen the pink? Have you seen the new pink with the opulence that's coming out? It's a good, like, it's a good bright pink. You could totally rock it. 
Let's get this. Yeah, so I'm super excited about um, the new lipsticks because knowing that they're gonna be added to our full product line, this is kind of just like um, a tease for us. And I kind of like it when they do that because I can get the colors and show them to y'all, just like this palette. I can show y'all now and then if you want it, you can get it when it comes out. But if you want, um, if you want the lipsticks, I can grab them for y'all. Um, if you're not on my team, a lot of y'all here are on my team. <laughs> if you're not on my team, I can grab them for you on Monday. But for those of you on my team, Monday is going to be launch day early in the morning. We can grab them then. So super excited. I kind of want to bring more of this red over now. Like I really like this burgundy reddish color like a lot. I kind of want to add a little bit more. I'll probably regret it, but <laughs> I really like it. And the lighting's not doing it justice because all y'all can see is shimmer. But to me, like I can actually see the colors. Ooh, let's do this. <laughs> I can only wear a pink like the color on your shirt yeah so it's I wish I had something it's like it's like in between this and like this purple kind of like in between I'll post the pictures in the comments after so that y'all can see them so that you don't have to go searching for them because I have a bunch of pictures and I also have a beauty try on guide on my website if y'all want to try out the colors I can post the link down there too so you can see what they look like on you. Um, just remember when you go to it, there's going to be an option for new products. And that's what you want to go to, new products, or else you won't find it. And then, I'm getting carried away, I know. I know, y'all. I'm going to do something though. I have a plan. Bear with me. I promise I have a plan. Okay. Now, let me get this. What's that color again? Profound. The burgundy looking color. Get it off my brush. And then I'm going to get the pretty gold sparkly one and put it on top. Invincible. I need a little bit more since it's glittery. There we go. I love having several different colors on. I like the way it looks. That is sparkly. <laughs> I love it. And this other color, Jovial, kind of looks like a camo green. So I can only imagine like doing these two together for like a camo look. That'd be so cool. This is just my first time trying it. So I wanted to try these colors. Okay, let's move on before I hate it because I'm messing with it so much. Palette 8. I just noticed. Okay, so I just noticed something else. The older palettes, you see the palette 4? It's like a glossy look, the number. This palette is a flat. Well, you kind of can't tell. <laughs> but it's like a flat, there you go, like a light greenish color. Pretty cool. I just noticed that too. I was looking for differences in them. So that's definitely a difference. Let's try this out real quick. I love when women can wear liner underneath. Yes, I can never pull it off only. Mop. Oh, your waterline? Yeah, I, I like black in my waterline, but because my eyes are so thin, it thins them out even more when I do that. But yeah, 
sometimes I can pull off underneath. <laughs> so let's try out this new powder. Um, it's a prime. Oh, I got a lot up there. I didn't mean to get so much. It's a prime and um, set powder. Oh, is the thing, hold on, hold that thought y'all. I feel like, oh, okay. You know how there's normally like a little sticker on top if you have powder? So the way that the sticker is placed, some of the powder was able to come out and that's what was confusing me because I'm like, the sticker's still on. Ooh, I can feel it, it feels so cool. So this is the one that I was telling y'all about. It's got like this new technology that um, it's encapsulated water. So like these um, powders in here are actually, when you put it on your face, it feels like you're putting it on like liquid and then it's really a powder, it's really crazy. But this is made um, to use as a primer and to set. So that's what we're gonna do, I'm super excited. Hey, Christina. So I wanna make sure I don't have too much powder because it goes a lot, oh, I got way too much powder. How did I do that? Hold on, let me sift it back in there, hopefully. <laughs> Hold on, that's way too much. Oh, how cool, I can see it like going down. Okay, I'm sifting, like I'm sifting sugar real quick to get it out of the lid so I don't spill it everywhere. So it's cool that it has that up there though so that you don't spill it everywhere, you know? Hey, you see? You see what you, this is, I got the green, I got the um, shimmer goldish color, and then I got like the burgundy color, which my wing didn't go out as far, but I'm gonna fix it. Christina got the palette eight too, y'all. <laughs> Tap the, oh, it's coming down. It's just taking a little while. It's just taking a little while but I don't want to spill it because this is also one of the ones that was available for Black Friday week. And it's going to be added to the core line, but not until 2021. So I have to <laughs> make this last until then. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's better. So I'm going to get this awesome brush that's like as big as my head, but I'm super excited about it. I'm actually gonna push some of the powder back down in there a little bit more, because I don't wanna waste it. Okay, so you can use this before you put on any foundation as primer. Ooh, y'all. <laughs> it's so cool because literally, like, it feels like you're wiping water on your face, but you're not, it's powder. Something about the encapsulated water is why it does that. But it's cool because when you use it as the primer first before your foundation, then you do your foundation and you do this again to set it. It's almost like a water resistant type of, um, type of protectant. It's pretty cool. So I'm excited to use it. Got to do this first though, before I do um, concealer or anything. So let's clean this up with my concealer. Make sure that I get the right color because I got one for highlight, so I got it a lot lighter. And then I got this one, which is like a shade lower than my normal color, um, which works well for. Uh, or under your eyes. So that's what I want to do. And then because I'm fixing, I'm fixing that line over there, right? And then I want it for under my eyes too. So I'm just gonna blend this in and blend this down to fix that line. Okay, I need a I need a mirror right here okay so this concealer is a uh, product that's on my core line so you can get this now if you want it 
And I love it because it has that applicator built into it, so it makes it easier to apply. And it also has skincare agents built into it, so it's good for your skin, which I also love because I'm really, really, really into skincare. Skincare is my jam. I'll see how it's kind of just making a line over here. That's what I wanted. There we go. And then I'm going to do this side. And yeah, I, <laughs> I totally use my fingers for my concealer. That's one thing that I definitely use my fingers for. I don't know, it's just easier for me. And I feel like the brushes can't get exactly where my fingers can get to, you know? And I know that we're not supposed to be rough with our eye area, but come on, you gotta blend it somehow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are you talking about me? Both, right? <laughs> We're paint time, yeah. Oh, mama. Christina, you are too? <gasps> How cool. I'm not surprised though, because we have similar um, skin tones. That's so cool. Mom Christina is um, the one that I had uh, just been to her house today before I went to go take you your stuff. That's so cool, Christina. I feel like I hear pigeons outside my house and we don't have pigeons over here, so I don't know what I'm hearing. Okay, now we can put on some foundation. Let's see. I'm just gonna pick out the darkest stick color that I have um, because none of them match me right now. <laughs> Which color? Mm, let's use Velour. Ooh, Navajo too, woo. <laughs> Aiden's in the other room, Laura, that's how. <laughs> Shh, don't jinx it. Oh, and he did tell me to tell y'all hi. I forgot, Aiden says hi, y'all. <laughs> that's how. <laughs> and Blue's down here asleep because he knows I'm gonna get mad if he starts acting a fool. The cats are always quiet and John is at his mom's house, so it's nice right now. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna take off this excess real quick from my uh, Kabuki brush because I don't know what color I used last. So yeah, this is definitely my war paint now. <laughs> okay, so see how it's all starting to come together now that we're like framing everything, you know? And yes, I still use my brush that my dog tried to eat because it still works. <laughs> One of my friends asked me one time, why do you still use that brush? Because it still works. <laughs> and there's a good story behind it. Either my dog, his brother who used to live here with us, or my cats tried to eat it, but no one will fess up to it. So I figure if I keep using it, one day one of the animals will say, ooh, yeah, that was me. <laughs> Probably not, but you know. Momo, he's, he's in the other room. Shh, don't jinx it. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's actually, he's on your side of town. On your side of town. He's in Texas right now, Laura. Um, he's working um, in the Tyler area. So right now, he is at Suzanne's house uh, visiting this weekend. He was home last weekend. He tries to, like, alternate. 
because he doesn't always work in Texas. Sometimes he works, most of the time he works out of state. So we're actually lucky right now that he's in Texas. So yeah, he's actually not too far from you right now. Okay, I know I look really pale, I know. It's because I don't have the right color foundation right now. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I forgot I got this. This is so cool and it's not available anymore. Sorry y'all, hopefully we get another one like it soon. Um, but this is so cool because it works really well uh, for contour. What does he do now? Tell her he's two hours away. Oh, I will tell him hello. So. He does UXO work, um, unexploded ordinance, something like that. Um, so like the brief definition is um, he goes to like a lot of old um, like um, practice ranges for the military um, and different things like that or even some places that he's gone. Um, there was like old bases like in World War II and stuff like that. And they go clear out anything that's still there from their explosives. It's like really scary actually. But he thrives off of that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> so that's why he travels a lot because, you know, he can go anywhere, um, anywhere that he gets a contract to go do that. And it's like, uh, the Army Corps of Engineers um, gets them to go out and clear out that kind of stuff. It's really crazy, like freaks me out, but he loves doing it. He, um, he used to do it before we met and then he took a break and um, he did, he was going to school for um, commercial diving when we met over here in my area and that's how we met. He ended up getting a job doing something like that for a while, but it just wasn't the, like, wasn't what he expected. So he went back to UXO and he's been doing that now again for like four years or something, I think. So that's why he's always gone. I see under eyes look good. I haven't used the cream like I should. I haven't either, but when I do use it, it works like that. <laughs> you don't, yeah. <laughs> Laura Betty is my mom mom Laura obviously is John's cousin so my mom hates his job because it's scary <laughs> and I know Suzanne hates it too but you know guys y'all like they like that kind of stuff but those of us that are at home waiting for them <laughs> it's kind of like do you have to do that like can't you pick something else but that's what he likes to do So yeah, I guess there's an old base or something over there in the Tyler area. I'm not super familiar with the area, but there's something over there <laughs> that he's working on. Okay. I have some harsh lines. Let's get rid of these harsh lines. See, blend it in a little bit more. Laura, isn't your husband um, military? Or he was, I think. I think I've seen pictures of um, him in like camouflage or something before. So I know you understand <laughs> the feeling of not feeling completely comfortable with their jobs. It's exactly who he is. Yep, my hubby's the same. See, you can't tell him anything because that's what they want to do. I was pregnant with Addie when Andy was in Afghanistan and Skyped her birth to him. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that much. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I thought he was military. thought I'd seen that. Yeah, I mean, like, what do you do? You tell them, you know, I don't like your job, but what would we do if they told us, if they told us the same thing, you know? Army, yep. My, um, I have a lot of family members that were Army actually... Viola, who's on here right now, um, was my sister-in-law whenever I was little. She was married to my brother who just 
um, retired from the army as a command sergeant major, I think mom is what it is. So yeah, big military family here too. And then John, you know, he's, um, he's an army veteran. So yeah, we are a huge army family. And then, you know, he's not even in the army anymore. And then he goes and still does crazy stuff. <laughs> These guys, man, they live for that kind of thing. I'm just using a um, eyebrow pencil because it's quicker. And I like the control of the pencil as opposed to using a brush with the powder. I feel like I can control this a little bit more and get into the exact spots that I want to. See, that looks better. <laughs> Jean is um, big into the army also. She, uh, she was part of the readiness group for my brother's um, unit, I guess you call it, when, well, pretty much every time he deployed. So um, when my brother would deploy, Jean would be there to help his unit get ready. And then when they came back, she would be there um, to help them, you know, readjust. But then she would also be the contact for the family. And she, uh, it's crazy because I've never met Jean ever in my life in person. And we are lifelong friends now because of everything that she's done for our family. So go Army. Okay, it's starting to look a little bit better. It's gonna look a lot better once we get this mascara on y'all. That's our next step is mascara. Okay, let's blend it a little bit, just a little bit, cause I don't, I don't like harsh, harsh brows. Just me, looks good on some people, just doesn't on me. So let's do some mascara. Go Army, yeah. Do you wax or pluck your eyebrows? And then what eyebrow pencil? Um, so first question, what eyebrow pencil is medium, Viola, the color medium on our line. And it's available now so you can grab it on your next order. Um, and then Jean, I pluck my eyebrows because I'm like, if I can do it, Myself, I'll do it instead of going out and getting somebody to do it. <laughs> but I really should uh, have them waxed or threaded or something because I'm kind of blind and so I miss um, <laughs> I miss them a lot. Like I'll have a patch here or there. But thankfully, one good thing about having such um, fine hair is my eyebrows are fine too. So it's like not super obvious if I don't pluck them all the time. So that's a good thing. Yes, she was, Mama. Miss Jean was a lifesaver for us. So I'm going to use the 4D because we're going bold on the eyeshadow, so we might as well go bold on our lashes. <laughs> so this is the, uh, this is my best seller out of everything. This is what everybody's obsessed with, and there's a reason for it because it works so well. But I want to show y'all um, the huge difference in the way that your eyeshadow looks when you don't have mascara on compared to when you do have mascara on. It's just like a world, world apart. Like it's crazy. And y'all know me, I wear like the blackest black of mascara ever. <laughs> so it really pops. Let's see. I hear blues taught me growling, but I don't think it's hungry growling. I think it's like he probably ate something that he shouldn't have. <laughs> so this is the mascara that has um, fibers built into it. So it extends your lashes for a falsy look. 
without all the hassle of falsies. Same look though. See, I mean, <laughs> see how awesome it looks when you have mascara? It just like frames it to me is what it does. How cool is that? Like, awesome. Huge military family here too. Two of my sister's husbands are also prior army and now air force. Oh, cool. Love our family. We need, to, I know, right? We still haven't met. <laughs> so I live down here southwest of Houston. Um, it's a town called Richmond, Rosenberg. They're like, they butt up against each other. So if you look on the map, that's where I am. It's near Sugarland. More people know where Sugarland is. Um, but yeah, I think it's like a five hour drive to, um, to the area that y'all are in, like the general area that y'all are in. So like when John comes home on the weekends, um, it takes him five hours to get here and five hours to go back depending on traffic. But I used to go up there and visit Suzanne more often before we got Blue, but Blue is not the type of dog that will uh, like stay at a kennel. Like I can't go take him somewhere because he would seriously like, he'd be the kid that was sent to the principal's office at school. <laughs> because he does not like anyone but me. Well, and and the general family, he likes us, but no one else. So it's hard for me to go over there now because he's huge also, and he doesn't, he doesn't ride well in cars. His brother does, Suzanne has his brother, um, and he rides well in cars, but Blue doesn't. So I haven't been there in like two years now because I can't take him. But y'all can come down here and see us. <laughs> Hey, Kayla, you see the, this is palette eight. I'm so excited about it. We're just framing our eyes now with our mascara to show you the pop that you get that you don't have without it. So yeah, I am way down over here. Um, way far away from uh, the shoemate side of the family. And the Mattingleys, everybody up there in the East Texas general area, like I've only been around them like a handful of times besides Suzanne and uh, James Ryan, I've been around a few more times, but yeah. Like I don't get to travel as much anymore and it sucks. Ooh, from the beach, about an hour and a half, like not too far. Um, before we moved, we bought this house. Um, actually November was our two year um, home owning anniversary. Um, and before we moved here, we lived in Alvin, <clears throat> which is where I grew up. And that was only like a 45 minute drive to the beach. It was so much closer. But that's why John didn't want to live there because of the hurricanes. Um, because like we're far enough inland to where we'll get impacts from hurricanes, but not like devastating impacts like uh, my mom got in 2018. Uh, we were still living in Alvin. We were renting a house then. And uh, hurricane... Uh, Harvey came and like wiped out my mom's house. Thankfully, she still had um, pretty much like she had the bones of the house left and that was it. But that was it for John. He was like, mm -mm, I'm not going to I'm not going to lose everything because we're so close to the coast. So that's why we moved more inland now. But it's just about an hour and a half to the beach. Not too far. And I love the beach. Okay, try not to poke my eye out there. <laughs> I 
can hear blue back there. <sighs> okay. What do y'all think? I hope you moved close to Jen. Nope. Mom ain't leaving her house. John tells her all the time. The only other person that can live in our house is Mama Betty. <laughs> we actually have a guest room upstairs that's dedicated to when the moms come over. It's Suzanne when she's here or mom when she's here, but Mama's never leaving her house. Thanks to friends and my dear children, I'm still living in the beloved. Yes, uh, we were able to fix her home from a lot of support from friends and family and strangers even that helped. Thank y'all. Isn't it so pretty? I love it. And we only use three colors. Yes, I'm being a lush, sorry. So, I'm so excited about this look. This is palette eight, y'all. So when it comes back to the line sometime in 2021, let me know if you want to grab it and I'll get it for you. Um, I'm not putting on lips because y'all know I'm not a lipstick person, but I'm excited to try out the new matte lipstick. So as soon as that comes in, I will try it on for y'all. Um, so that's why I'm like, I'm not putting anything on there now. Yes. <laughs> yes, Laura, I am. <laughs> Yeah, I just decided that I'd just go for it and have a drink with y'all. <laughs> That's like, yeah, John called me a lush the other day, but it's fine, whatever. So, <laughs> there ain't no shame in my game. Thanks, Viola. <laughs> That's what you need, Christina. You do, girl. You need you need to take a break from schoolwork and all that. But I know you have a you have a calendar date with yourself on Tuesday for a. a really strong drink. Maybe we can zoom and have a drink together. <laughs> I don't know if I can save any of my beer, but I'll buy some more. <laughs> Anyways, I had fun with y'all. I had so much fun with y'all. Yes, Tuesday at 9 p.m. That's your date with yourself. <gasps> Thank you, Laura. I like it. So that's one thing, y'all. If, if you have brown eyes and you're like, man, I wish I had blue eyes or I wish I had green eyes or hazel or whatever. Some of my friends have gray eyes. Us brown eyed girls can have fun too because we, we can play with color and it just look, I mean, it pops, you know? And especially with the black mascara on, it really pulls it in. I'm super excited. Everyone tune in to have a drink. I know, right? <laughs> That's what we should do. Let's all have a, a Zoom with everybody drinking. <laughs> you too, Viola. Thanks for hopping on. It was a good video today. I'm glad, Mama. I wanted to try this with y'all so and I was waiting until I figured maybe more people would be on their phones um, now opposed to earlier so I'm glad that I waited so that y'all could hang out with me and look I'm staring because the green's uneven see what y'all y'all I told y'all look it I told y'all I'm like that it's uneven I gotta fix it <laughs> that's better <laughs> okay y'all Thanks for hopping on with me. Um, maybe we'll do this again in a couple days with um, some other colors from the palette. Like maybe we could try, maybe we could try like these in the crease instead. If y'all have any ideas, let me know. And I'll post the pictures of the um, new lip, the matte lip colors below with the link to the try on guide if y'all wanna try it out. It's under new products, don't forget. You can either take a picture of yourself or you could try them on live and see what the colors look on you look like on you. <laughs> it's addicting though, so have fun. <laughs> All right, y'all. See you next time. Thanks.